This story comes from my heart, or at least what's left of it. So, you need to know three things about me. Firstly, I was born in the year of the Earth Monkey. I know this because since early childhood, I've had a fascination for horoscopes, crystals, any form of divination, especially the tarot cards. As well as multiple health issues, I have two genetic disorders that can cause sudden death. And fact number three is that people have always told me that I have healing hands. In 2017, I was seriously ill and needed an emergency operation. My family suffered along with me, watching me in so much pain and coping with a horrendous collection of symptoms. All of us wondering if 2018 would arrive for me. My natural instinct was to rely on what I knew best to get me through each moment. My lucky charms, oracle cards and attempting to heal myself. I was already a fan of meditation and I had begun learning Qigong a number of years before. Qigong is a martial art which uses movement, breathing and meditation to improve health and well-being. My traditional medicines took a lot of trial and error and I needed much more than pills to heal from traumatic health events. Qi means energy. And remembering that I allegedly had healing hands, I decided to learn Reiki, an Indian head massage. Reiki promotes the body's own natural healing through channeling energy. An Indian head massage is a gentle treatment that has many benefits, including an amazing sense of relaxation. I even managed to find an Indian head massage chair. Through complementary therapies, I learned to heal myself, and I have been able to help other people to heal too. It took a very severe wake-up call to remind me of what I had always known. Follow your gut instinct. Remove yourself from toxic situations and stressful scenarios. Have the integrity to walk away from anything that doesn't hold true for you. Albert Einstein stated, The intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant. It has since been reported that we have created a society that honours the servant and has forgotten the gift. Well, I've rediscovered my gift and healing has made me a healer. I'm so grateful to finally be on the right road. And in the words of Tori Amos, healing takes courage and we all have courage, even if we have to dig a little to find it.